Stacey Abrams is running against Brian Kemp for the governor's race. And poor Stacey Abrams is not getting the support that she should receive from black men. It's almost as if they own black men. Yeah, like black men have an obligation to Stacey when we don't. Even the article says that in 2018, Stacey Abrams had more black male support. Yeah, so like in 2018, we didn't have a problem with her being a woman or her being a black woman. But all of a sudden in 2020, uh, 2022, we have become this, uh, what is it, uh, white supremacist adjacent or some other bullshit they make up on Twitter. All of a sudden now we hate ourselves. It could be that Stacey Abrams says she's going to put all these more cops on the street. Stacey Abrams' rhetoric has had to change because she realized that she couldn't win just by getting black male voters. She got black male voters in 2018. Now she has to expand her electorate while simultaneously not trying to lose the electorate she already had. So she's trying to attract Republicans. Even the article says, hey, she has to get some, some disaffected Republicans to switch over to the Democrats. And that's not happening. That's really the pivotal point here. There are a lot more white uh, Republicans than black males who um, are disaffected or feel like, hey, why should I come out? I haven't seen any polling that shows that those black males are voting for Brian Kemp. It just says that they are not excited about Stacey Abrams. So Stacey Abrams starts this Stacey and the fellas thing, okay? And she just started this thing where she's now meeting with black men and talking with them. And in one of the meetings, she said, if black men vote for me, I'll win. You know, as if it only takes black men for her to win. You had black men vote for you last time. It's going to take more than that. But I, I want people to realize how, how insulting it is that when you get 90% of the black male vote, the 10% that you don't get, you turn on the 90% and call them uh, traitors or backstabbers or unknowledgeable or white supremacist adjacent or misogynist. Like, you know how frustrating that is? Stacey Abel is probably getting like 98% of black women, right? Um, which seems like a big difference, but it's not. You're in the 90s. Either way. So, being a black male, supporting the Democratic Party, it's a slap in the face. What is it going to be the responsibility of Democratic politicians to excite Democratic voters? You know, Republicans don't run and get mad at white guys and go, these white guys, they don't come out enough. No, because they realize without those white guys, they never win. The same thing holds true with the Democrats, but they don't want to give the Democrats, the Democrats don't want to give black men any agency, any props, any power, and say, you know what, if it wasn't for these black voters, these black men, we would lose. But they love giving it to black women and pitting black women and black men against each other. That's what they like to do. So that's what I got a problem with. This is bigger than Stacey Abrams. This is not just about Stacey Abrams. Stacey Abrams is a very talented, very intelligent person, very, very, very articulate. I hate to say that, but she's just really good. I've heard her on the stump. She can put the facts together and run them off. She's very good at that. But do people feel like they know her? Do people feel like they can trust her? Do people feel like she's going to help their lives? That's what matters. Because people are already doing bad. You can't tell them if you get Brian Kemp, who they already have, they're going to do worse than they're already doing because they already got him. Think. But instead, and, and like similarly, like I put out a tweet. Basically, it was, we're tired of black people being talked down to. We're tired of people blaming us for Stacey, Stacey Abrams' uh, bad poll numbers. Black men should not be blamed for that. You should be glad you're getting support from us. And the response overwhelmingly from Democrats was, you a sellout, you don't like black women, that's what's wrong with black men, all of the, all of this bullshit. If it wasn't for black men voting 
for Democrats, there'll never be another Democrat elected. But we don't get that respect that they even recognize that, that we could all take our ball and go home. These morons are comparing Stacey Abrams' black male support to Warnock, Raphael Warnock's black male support, when Warnock is running against a black guy. So they're choosing Warnock over Herschel Walker, black men are. And they're making that seem like that's the same thing. Have you heard Walker, Her Herschel Walker talk? You may not like Brian Kemp, but please, he's better than Herschel Walker. <laughs> but you, you treat black men like we are, like totally like missing the boat. Like we totally don't get it. Warnock is a senator running against a person with a serious mental deficiency, which is Herschel Walker. And and I don't even know the policy differences. I got to imagine there are a lot. Herschel Walker doesn't even seem to know what a policy is. Herschel Walker, well, what, what policies have you implemented? I think people should wear shoes when they go to stores. I used to wear shoes when I went to the store, and I think a shoes and a shirt when you go into an establishment is a good idea. That's the level that Herschel Walker's on. It's like, no, what about health care? What about jobs, employment, uh, student loans? What about business loans? What about what about real estate? What about percentage rates? What about, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, blah, 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 blah. So, look, I'm not saying that Stacey Abrams would not make a good governor. But you can't keep running on she black and she a woman and this will be historic first. If you were telling people, hey, Stacey Amos is going to change your life, she's going to turn around Georgia for the better for a lot of you, and, and this is what's going to happen, you mean to tell me you think that there are black men who don't want that to happen? That they're going, no, I, I don't want to do better. I don't want life to be better. I'd rather for life to be the same uh, under Brian Kemp to stay the same. I don't want better. Of course they would want better. Who doesn't want better? But you have to make them believe it. And as of right now, all we get is a bunch of talking down to, which doesn't help. People pointing fingers at us, which doesn't help. And people playing victim, which damn sure don't help. Because if anybody's a victim, it's not Stacey Abrams. Last time I checked, she had a lot of Bloomberg money. Okay? It's the poor people of Georgia who are struggling that need help. So switch the focus from we really need to support Stacy to what Stacy going to do for us or them because I don't live in Georgia. And maybe then you got something. <laughs> so, so my tweet about Stacey Abrams, that was very clear, Johnson, about where I stand. And I'm noticing that a lot of my Democratic friends, <laughs> they just ran like roaches with the lights cut on. They, they all disappeared. They just Click the heels and disappear. Cause they want none of that smoke. They don't want, they don't want to be uh known with the guy who criticized Stacey Abrams. But see, here's the thing with the difference between me and them. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna say how I feel, and you ain't gotta like it. I'm brutally honest. Subscribe to this channel for more updates on politics, news, culture, race, all that good stuff right here on The Tim Black Show.